A 42-year-old woman with pain and numbness in the legs. Sagittal T2 rated image of lumbar spine shows subtle high-intensity lesion at the uh, conus. Axial T2 rated image confirms the hyperintense lesions at the conus. The sagittal T1 rated image demonstrates the conus abnormality as subtle isointense lesion. Sagittal post GAD T1 rated image reveals enhancing nodules at the conus and abnormal enhancement of the surface of the cord and nerve roots is also seen. Axial post GAD fat saturated T1 rated images confirm the abnormal enhancement of the conus and the nerve roots. Axial T2 red image of the brain in the same patient shows a hypointense lesion on both sides of the septum pellucidum within the lateral ventricles. A hyperintense lesion is also seen in the right parieto occipital region of the brain. Axial flare image demonstrates the same lesions as hyperintense nodular masses. Axial T1 rated image reveals the lesions within both lateral ventricles as isointense lesions. The right parieto occipital lesion is now well seen on this image. Axial post GAD T1 rated image of the brain shows strong enhancement of the lesions within the lateral ventricles and right parieto occipital region. In addition, there is linear ependymal enhancement of the lateral ventricles especially in both frontal horns. A nodular enhancing lesion is also seen in the hypothalamic um, chiasmatic region. This is a case of metastatic melanoma with the drop metastases to the brain. I'm sorry, metastatic melanoma with drop metastases to the spinal cord.